Welcome to Focus on DeSoto Today, a public information program produced by the Community Relations Department at City of DeSoto. I'm Kathy Jones and I'll be your host. And I have a very special guest today. I'd like to introduce our brand new mayor, Kirsty McCowan. Welcome, Mayor. Thank you so much. I'm excited about being here. We're so glad you're here. You are making history in DeSoto as our first female mayor in over 67 years wow. as an incorporated city. How does that make you feel? Well, I'm excited. Uh, I'm very humbled by it. And I feel even more committed to continue the work that I've done for so many years, but even at a whole new level. And I'm just thrilled that I come at a time when uh, the city is just thriving and growing. And I feel like I may have contributed to that somewhat, but I know I owe so much credit to those who have served before me. And so I come with uh, just a sense of gratitude to the people of DeSoto for having the trust and the confidence in me to elect me as the first woman to serve as mayor. And uh, I just have a, a wonderful and absolutely uh, magnificent group of people with whom I am serving the council and the staff here at City Hall. Oh, thank you. Well, you're doing a great job so far. We're so glad to have you. Thank you. Let, let's go back a little bit. What brought you and your family to DeSoto in the first place? Well, I am like most people. I, um, my husband and I, I should say, did an assessment of what our next steps would be. We were a young couple living in Dallas in our first mm -hmm. home we bought, and we thought we were now ready with two young boys mm -hmm. to uh, uh, find a community in which we would be uh, very comfortable and one that offered the types of schools and we wanted our children to attend. And so uh, we looked around, looked at a number of places, and DeSoto was the place. Mm -hmm. When we came to DeSoto, it felt so comfortable to us because we're small town people. Sure. We came from a small town in East Texas, and so not only did the town really feel good, but when we checked out the schools, that meant so much to us. And so. I think that uh, really convinced us that DeSoto was the place for us. Well, and speaking of the schools, you served for years and years in the 90s, as I remember, as president of our DeSoto ISD Board of Trustees. And such a wonderful commitment to our community. You really uh, benefited us. You've had that experience. You've been um, on the DeSoto Economic Development Board, now, now City Council. How has that prepared you for where you are now? Well, it's really... Uh, just been tremendous, that experience has been invaluable for me. Uh, it has prepared me to, you know, really take a more strategic look at the kinds of things uh, on which we should be focused mm -hmm. as a, and not as Curtis Dean McCowan, the individual, but as a corporate body, each one of those, the school board, we called ourselves a team of eight, mm -hmm. the seven elected trustees and the superintendent. and running for school board, I learned how important it is to make sure that the community is fully engaged and how to become a, a really good listener and try to sort out what is best for all concerned. Um, serving on the Economic Development Corporation Board of Directors, I had the honor and privilege of serving five years as board president. And again, I brought those same experiences, both that I learned not only here in DeSoto, but on my job, mm -hmm. where I worked for almost 33 years. So um, coming to council was, you know, I was really no stranger. It was the next step. It was just <laughs> a ne next step. And I have to admit, I really didn't realize that I would end up here. Mm -hmm. uh, but because of the encouragement of so many people and the fact that this community knew how much I love DeSoto and how committed I am to public service, that the encouragement came from the community. That was a push uh, for me to look at how I could serve this community, this city, as a council member. And then, of course, Mayor Pro Tem came next. Yes. And, and I was just blessed to serve, uh, at, at least to run for mayor. Run unopposed, really. You can't beat that. And you can beat that. Uh, what a blessing. 
and now to, to really have uh, the honor of serving as this city's mayor. So it's, it's really been uh, years of, of learning, and it never stops. It Absolutely. never stops. Well, and, and I see a huge benefit in, with your background with the DeSoto ISD. You make us all a team, as you said earlier. Right. Really important. For, uh, and to the citizens, we are all a team. They really don't see a lot of separation between city and school, and so that, that's really a good thing. Well, Kathy, I've been telling people, I so said, you can call me the education mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, not that the previous mayors weren't, but... I think your heart. It, it, is, heart. it is truly my heart, mm -hmm. and I believe that if we don't get that right, if we don't get the education piece right, we're, we're going to fail overall because when I went to Economic Development Board, I never knew every time a company asked, you know, how are your schools? When we were reaching out to companies to uh, try to promote our city or to promote, you know, we worked very hard on that the marketing of DeSoto, the first thing they'd ask, how are your schools? And so it's it's, it, is, it is huge, it is key. And as a council member, as, a, as the mayor of the city, that's still very important and we are not taking our eyes off of how our schools are doing and what we can do to strengthen our team, strengthen our partnership to make them even better. Well, I think you're doing a good job. Thank you. Um, you've said education is a priority for you. What other priorities do you have as you go into your, your term? Well, the other priorities I have, and I said I, can, I will continue to be strategically focused on economic development mm -hmm. because we do need to look at how we can improve the types of uh, companies we bring to our city. I think we've done a great job in our industrial development, you know, uh, in terms of economic development in the industrial area. And, and we are now focusing so much on e-commerce mm -hmm. because of the great benefit that is to our tax base for this city. Uh, so economic development is huge. We want jobs that uh, not only pay livable wages, but above livable wages. And so the focus on economic development in the commercial uh, area, office, uh, medical, uh, technology, aeronautics, uh, we really need to focus on those types of jobs because they pay more. Absolutely. And we have beautiful homes, we have a lot to offer here, but in order to, be, to afford those homes and other quality of life uh, opportunities here, people need to, have, to be able to, to earn money to earn the types of salaries where they can afford to live. Yeah, and, and not have a huge commute. Right. It's and great not to be able to work at home. home. Yeah. That's right. You're absolutely you gain right. You so much um, family time because you're not in the car. So right. it's and, really and, important. And you, talk about, you, you asked the question about um, what other areas. I really have focused heavily on four. Education was one. Economic development was the other. And those all contribute to the quality of life. Absolutely. That are the overall quality of life for our citizens, our parks, our, the arts, mm -hmm. you know, sports and entertainment, all of that. But the quality of life, how our, how our streets look, you know, and the way we maintain our communities, our HOAs, you know, how we're interacting with them. And so I'm heavily focused on that. And as you know, uh, one of the areas uh, that I'm really excited about is what we're doing to uh, make sure that we are embracing our history, our rich history and the culture of our community all of it and so so much is being done you know we have Nance Farm that we're investing mm -hmm. the taxpayers money to make sure that our Nance Farm property is uh, maintained and you know the work that we're doing there we have a military memorial mm -hmm. there so can't wait until mm -hmm. we actually open that up for the community and so that's sort of the beginning mm -hmm. a part of our history here in the community, but there is so much more richness in the history Absolutely. of this community. Our first African American mayor was Mayor Sherman, yes. and just to capture, you know, that history mm -hmm. along with so many other things that we're doing here is is a key area of focus for me. Yes, and I even hear that um, 
the Civil Rights Museum from, from Dallas is coming, and it will be um, installed in Nance Farm. In Nance Farm, yes. Which will be huge for our community. We've never really had our own museum, and that will be a great tourism thing. It's, yes. It's just, and great for our student, our kids, to learn th their history. Yeah, really well, good. And, and, and I uh, am fully committed to that mm -hmm. and can't wait for uh, us to be, a for this city to be able to open that up to the community. Yeah, that's but gonna be exciting. It's really exciting and along with the mili military memorial. Mm -hmm. I'm excited I, about that I, too. I think the community, there are some surprises mm -hmm. for our community mm -hmm. when they see what, I, and, and I have to give credit to the Historical Foundation Board for the work that they have done Absolutely. to make sure that these attractions are there. Mm -hmm. And they're there for the people of DeSoto and, as you said, for tourism, mm -hmm. for others who may come to yeah. visit. And I also have to thank you as a, a staff liaison for the DeSoto Arts Commission. You have been our best cheerleader, and we really appreciate it and your support and everything that we've done. And we can hope we'll continue to do great um, performances for our citizens. Well, I am a huge proponent of the arts. Can't wait until our Black Box Theater oh, opens next year. Yes. Uh, another fall of 2017. Fall of 2017. Look to. <laughs> yes. We will be there and it will open up to a lot more, you know, a more diverse type of Absolutely. entertainment, yes. not only the arts, but you know, some other types of uh, entertainment you for the community. visual art there. And yes. Just, you know, all kinds of things. It yes. Really give us some, uh, broaden our horizons. Well, thank you so much, Mayor, for being with us today. Do you have anything else you'd like to add or share with the citizens? Well, I just want the citizens to capture the vision of DeSoto. You know, we You're are. excited I'm, about it. I'm excited <laughs> about it, and that's why I said I want the community to be fully engaged and to make sure that they realize that our doors are open to hear from them. Uh, we may not be able to do everything uh, the citizens suggest to us at once. We know that our tax dollars, uh, even though we appreciate what we have coming in, but there's a limit as to how much we can do at one time. But we want to hear it, we want to plan for it, and we want the citizens to be so much a part of what we do. So. It's a great place. DeSoto is a great place to live, work, and play. Yes, and so let's let's do it together. Let's well, do it together. I um, really appreciate it. Thank you so thank much you. for your time today. Thank um, you. And I'd like also thank our viewers for tuning into another edition of Focus on DeSoto today.